In mid-2015, a very strange stellar system was discovered, centered on an intergalactic hydrogen cloud. Projected onto the Virgo cluster, it was later dubbed SECC01 or CK01. Originally thought to be a nearby dwarf galaxy, it was later found to be a faint star-forming system of just 40,000 solar masses, spread across a few thousand light years, likely located within the Virgo cluster itself. However, its star formation rate is much higher than in other dwarf galaxies of its tiny mass. Additionally, its metallicity, which is the percentage of elements other than hydrogen and helium, was found to also be unexplainably high, much closer to that of the Milky Way than that of galaxies of its mass. CK1 is also extremely isolated, having no known major galaxy within hundreds of thousands of light years. This means that CK1 is clearly not a normal galaxy, and may not be a true galaxy at all under the traditional sense. Over the next few years, five other stellar systems, similar to CK1, were discovered throughout the Virgo cluster, which were named BC1, BC2, BC3, BC4, and BC5. Out of the five systems, BC2 was later found to be a distant galaxy cluster and not a nearby system like the other four. A 2022 study on these elusive enigmatic objects concluded that these five systems represent an entirely new class of stellar systems known as ram pressure dwarfs or simply blue blobs due to their irregular, clumpy and very blue appearances. These blue blobs likely formed from intergalactic gas stripped from nearby big galaxies as those galaxies move through the dense intergalactic medium and their gas was stripped via ram pressure stripping, hence the name ram pressure dwarf. This process is also known to create the infamous jellyfish galaxies. These blue blobs must have formed from the matter of the biggest galaxies within the cluster, as only these big galaxies have the required metallicity to explain the blue blobs' high metallicities. We've been able to estimate which galaxies these five blue blobs came from. As the gas was stripped off those large galaxies, it was able to survive in intergalactic space for long enough to be separated from their host galaxies by hundreds of kiloparsecs, and these clouds very recently started vigorously forming stars. In the present day, these ram pressure dwarfs are filled with young blue stars, which is why they are so blue, and there is no trace of any old red giant stars. The stellar populations of these galaxies are extremely young, only about 50 to 200 million years old, and nothing older resides in these blue blobs. There's also a lot of molecular hydrogen gas inside these blue blobs, which fuels the vigorous star formation. However, atomic hydrogen has only been detected in two of these five blue blobs, CK1 and BC3, suggesting that the other three blobs are further along in their life cycle and have expelled most of the gas due to supernovae and heat from the star formation. Most blue blobs are not composed of just one blob of stars, but are broken up into multiple components, which are all forming stars at different rates. It is predicted that as they are so large and have so little mass, and so have so little self-gravitation, that after a few hundred million years, all blue blobs will fall apart and dissolve into intergalactic space. Given the known amount of blobs in the Virgo cluster, I guess one may be formed every 10 to 20 million years or so. In early 2024, along with the discovery of a sixth blue blob, BC6, which was the most gas-rich ever discovered. There was a Zooniverse Citizen Science project to help find more blue blobs within the Virgo cluster. Through this project, 35 new candidate blue blobs were uncovered, of which 13 are high-confidence candidates, and where six of those have been confirmed, which all have masses in the expected range between a few hundred and a few hundred thousand suns, as well as having large amounts of neutral gas, ultraviolet emissions, and being relatively isolated. The other 22 are less blue, and some of those less certain candidates may be background galaxies. The study looking at these candidates found no inconsistencies with the established theory on how these objects are formed. 
In mid-2023, there was actually another Zooniverse Citizen Science project to help find blue blobs in the Fornax cluster, which apparently yielded zero blue blobs, which may not be that odd given Fornax is older, smaller and further away than Virgo. I guess this means that our study of these mysterious objects is currently restricted to the Virgo cluster, where at least 12 are known to reside. The next steps will likely involve confirmation of additional blue blobs from within this database from the spectral analysis, which is being pursued at the moment, as well as clearer insight into the formation timescales and evolution of these objects, which will require deep imaging of their solar populations, something which James Webb is best suited for. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more space content.